Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a new food pantry haul for you guys. Now, I hate to say it, but everything I got is in this one tote. Um, yeah, things have changed since I was there last. No, 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 no. Things have changed since I was there last in December. Excuse me, nosy. Um, as I was saying, things have changed uh, since I was there last. And they are really rationing out the amount of items you can get. So since I can only get two of something, there's people in the aisles watching you like a hawk that make sure you only take two. Um... So let me get these items out of the way because obviously newsy uh, puppies here want to uh, see what is going on. And this big handsome boy right here is Speckles. Um, Speckles was actually the first puppy that Lou had. Uh, you could tell by his size. He's almost, looks like he's almost full grown. He's only four and a half months old. And he is a very sweet boy. He will sleep with me some nights. Eh, no, no. He will sleep with me some nights. Um, he is a good boy. And uh, he's just a big boy. <laughs> but he really doesn't eat a lot. He doesn't eat any more or any less food than his siblings. So, I don't know. He's a very sweet boy. And... I love this gentle giant to pieces. Um, trying to work with the housebreaking him. Um, he's a little high strung. Very excitable. But, anywho, let me get into this food pantry haul. Get your paws out of there, you goof. Anywho, as I was going to show you guys. All right. So, I have two dozen of medium eggs which is always good to have. You can never have too many eggs. Now, this is something that I didn't get before. This is a turkey uh, provolone slider lunchbox, and it has everything that you need in here, I think, to make a few sliders for yourself, which is really, really uh, pretty cute. Get, gosh, dang it, go play with toy. Come on, go play with toy. Um, so I have two salad mixes, uh, Iceberg Garden and Fancy Green. Uh, let me see here. I have some brioche buns. That's two other puppies playing. And these are some, uh, what are these? I was going to say croissant rolls, but I'm not sure they're some type of rolls. I thought there was a sticker on them, but there isn't. Um, alrighty. Um, this was a good, a good thing. A uh, bag of Stafford County Flour Mills all-purpose flour. Um, I've actually been doing more baking. Um... Yesterday, during a storm, I actually made some chocolate peanut butter cookies. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now, the only thing I need to do is get some sugar. And, uh, no, baby girl, not you. Your name is sugar, but you're not the kind of sugar I need for bacon, sweetheart. A sugar story is very sad right now. Um, Sugar was adopted, excuse me, Sugar was adopted, and a family had her for about a week, well, a couple, and for whatever reason, she would not use puppy pads, and she would not go potty outside. Now, I and the lady's landlord would not allow her to keep her um, unless she was either housebroken or puppy pad trained. Now, the crazy thing is, she uses puppy pads here. So, I really felt so bad for this lady. When she returned her yesterday before the storm, I genuinely felt, I felt her sadness. I truly did. And I gave her a hug. I said, I have no hard feelings. 
Um, could be a number of different things. Some dogs are a little more stubborn and take longer than other dogs to actually, you know, be housebroken. But yet, the second she came back here, she was using puppy pads. So, I don't know. Um, I wish really it would warm up. I am so sick of this damn cold already because I would like to actually spend time with her outside and start working with her to, um, to, you know, the housebreaker. And that would be a good thing. I wouldn't have to worry about buying dang puppy pads because they run into money and, um, sometimes it's just money I don't have. So what else do I have? I have some decadent turtle brownie cookies and some chocolate cupcakes. As I said, um, we're only allowed two, so that's what I grabbed. Um, some ready to eat. Uh, this is Pico de Gallo. Um, I have to refrigerate that. Two cans of beef with juices. Um, a gallon of 2% reduced fat milk. So, let me uh, put that stuff in the fridge. On with this haul. That. Oh, gosh, they're fighting over time. Well, not fighting, but playing. All right, so I have two bags of frozen strawberries, a bag of long green brown rice, two avocados, which I got to remind myself to use. I grabbed three apples. They were pretty well picked over and didn't necessarily look, um, you know, all the best. Um, this is a shredded chicken salad on a croissant roll. And as far as canned goods, they were pretty well picked over. So I grabbed, uh, four cans of light red kidney beans, um, because I actually didn't have any. I was looking for some the one day, and I didn't have any, and I grabbed two cans of spaghetti sauce, because I can always use that. Now, here's an interesting change when it comes to the lunch meat. Um... This is honey barbecue chicken, low sodium turkey. The lady said if they're thin packs, you could have two. If you have a thicker pack, you can only have one. So already there is some changes going on, I guess, to accommodate more people using the service again um, because of people getting cut more this year too with food stamps because of the stupid cost of living adjustment that doesn't benefit anybody because if you're in government housing, no jack your rent up. If you're on Medicare, um, your premiums go up and a whole other bunch of shit. And what really is irritating the most about all that is it's just perfectly legal. And I don't understand how or why that the government can give you one thing and then take it off of you with another. It just seems to be ridiculously wrong, immoral. It's like being an Indian giver. Give it one hand and take it back with the other. And um, it just irritates me to no damn end. There is three pounds of ground turkey and I have a pack of thin sliced boneless skinless chicken breast. Now I do have something else to show you. It is definitely not food. Um, periodically they do put clothing out and you can pick through it and take whatever you would like. So while I was waiting, I found a couple of things I thought were cute and I'm going to end this video with showing you what I got. And before I get into that, uh, last little clip of clothing items I grabbed, I wanted to also share that I got two of these boxes. I did open one of these up in a previous video last year, so I'm not going to bother opening them up again, but I was given two of these boxes as well. To end this food pantry haul, I wanted to show you, I grabbed a couple of shirts. This is a sweatshirt. Um, the brand is Wild Fox, and it says social on it, which is actually kind of cute. Um, I also grabbed this really cute, 
um, pink tie-dye hoodie. This is Simply Southern Collection. Um, definitely worth grabbing. Their clothing items are not cheap. Um, so I grabbed that. I like the color. And it also reminds me of a hoodie I had years ago. Um, which I don't even know what in the heck happened to it. Um, probably about nine, ten years ago, I had a hoodie that was like a pinkish purple um, tie-dye. And I wore it a lot. I don't know whatever happened to that darn hoodie. I might have thrown that away. Because I think I got a very bad stain on it that I couldn't get out. Um, but this instantly reminded me of it. And then lastly, there was a Simply Southern t-shirt. Now, as I said, their clothing is not cheap. Now, you do often get, you know, good deals with sales and everything. Um, so this is a Simply Southern t-shirt. And the back of it says, Simply Southern, love all that you do. And I'm guessing it's a doctor or a nurse, um, maybe even a vet. I don't know. Probably a nurse or a doctor. Um, but I thought that that was actually really, really cute. Um, so that concludes this most recent food pantry haul of my normal food pantry. If you like this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell for all, and you should be notified each time I upload a new video. I will also have a um, homemade tomato soup video uploading uh, very soon too as well. Hopefully a day apart of this video. Maybe I'll, that'll be uploaded first. I'm not sure which order, but either way, I'll see you all soon on my next one. Bye guys.